It's Katherine Alford here, coming to you from Sensei for our next installment of Sensei's Money Reels. Today's Money Chat is all about how to have a better money conversation with your spouse. Now I know talking about money with your spouse can get kind of stressful. In most relationships, one person's a saver and one person's a spender, so money chats can get a little tense. But I have some solutions for you. Here are my top tips for making your next money chat with your spouse ultra successful. Okay, step one, bring wine. It always helps to have a money chat and a nice, calm, relaxing situation. It doesn't help if you're both standing up or yelling or holding and shaking a bill and saying, why did you buy this? So invite them to a nice money chat date. Have a sit down, enjoy a glass of wine, and try to go through your statements calmly and ask questions nicely and try to make it relaxing. Okay, step two is to not interrupt the other person when they're talking. Now, I'm guilty of this because I love talking about money and this is what I do for a living, so I get really excited in money chats and I get all kinds of ideas and I tend to take over the conversation. And I know that for a while my husband was sort of feeling like I was telling him what to do when it came to our money. So uh, we started a rule that we can't interrupt each other during a money chat which really means that I can't interrupt him because he doesn't really have the same problem. So um, a lot of times I call it letting him drive. I'll let him hold the computer. I'll let him go through the accounts. I'll let him make suggestions on what to move into savings, what to do for some of our long-term investment plans. I'll let him tell me how much uh, money should go in certain categories for our next month's budget. And I think that by allowing the a person who might not be as comfortable with money lead the conversation, it helps them to build that confidence and it helps them feel like more of a leader in the household. My last tip is to try to have these money chats at least once a month. If you're struggling, you might want to start out with having them once a week or once every two weeks, but once you get in a really good groove, you'll actually start to look forward to your money chats. I absolutely love making a budget. I love to get organized. I know, super geek here, but I really like um, before the start of the month to sort of decide how we're going to allocate our money and how we're going to spend it for the whole month. And it really helps me to check up on all of our accounts, our emergency funds, and what our different goals are each month. So the money chat is not something that you should just have once when you're stressed or you're having money troubles. A money chat is something that you should have with your spouse regularly. This will help to uh, build the conversation, open up communication, and help you build uh, a sense of teamwork and respect for one another. If you do this, your money chats with your spouse will go a lot smoother. All right, that's it for this episode of Sensei's Money Reels. See you next time. Bye.